Okay, just a short recording to um, go over some of the communication features in uh, Moodle. Um, here now may be a typical Moodle course or module. Normally a Moodle, a Moodle area will by default have a news forum as you can see here. Um, it is possible to add extra forums to a Moodle module and in IT Sligo we tend to add two standard forums. One is an area where students can post questions, which we put here, and an, th any, anything posted there will be distributed to the whole class, so other students can answer the question as well. And then down below here there's one which is called a group discussion area, where if a student posts, they can only post to members of a group that they are a member of. Okay, so let's just have a look at these. The top one, the one that's in most Moodle modules, even outside IT Sligo, is in use for us. So let's go in and look at that. We'll click on that and it'll bring me in here and it'll show any previous postings, which can only be added by the teacher. So if you want to get a message to your students, you can post here and it'll be rooted out to their email. Now by posting here you just add a new topic okay and then we put in a, a subject um, test on Friday. Okay that's a nice subject always just like an email always have a meaningful subject for your message. Okay It will cover chapter four. Okay. Right, let's see. You could attach files to that. We won't we won't get into more detail. This tells us that everyone is subscribed to this. That means they will everyone in the class will get this message. And an actual fact, it will if you post this it won't send it out for fifteen or thirty minutes, depends on the settings in Moodle. But if you want and you're in a rush you can send it out now. Let's just post a forum. There's always a chance you'll make a mistake, so it's best to post to the forum. This one says you have 30 minutes to edit it, and there you'll see that it's posted up to the forum, and in 30 minutes' time that will be sent out to their emails. Let's just have a see how it looks. Okay, there will be a test on Friday during class time. It will cover Chapter 4. Oh, I made a mistake. That should have been chapter three. Let's just edit that. That was a serious mistake. It's as well I caught it. Okay, so chapter three. Okay, and then we'll go down and save that. Okay, so that's that. Now we go back to the actual course itself, which is called demonstration. You can see that here in the breadcrumbs here. Here's the area that this Moodle course or module is in. Um, that's a sub area for in miscellaneous. There's the home, but here is the title of the actual course or module. So when we click on that, that brings us back to the module. Let's see if there's any questions from students. Okay, any questions about this subject? Okay, there's one. Damien has one on knitting. I think I think I can answer that uh, as I'm an expert on knitting. Okay. Is this course semesterized? I'm looking for past papers. Where can I find them? And uh, Joan, helpfully, very helpfully, has another student here has said they're in the crafter's basket. And that's typically what we want this type of forum for is so that students can answer each other's questions. But she's wrong in actual fact. So I better get back to Damien and I'm going to hit reply over here. Okay, reply. Let me click on that and that'll bring up a box for me to put my reply on. Damien's question is up there, and here I'm going to put the reply in here, and I'll say, uh, nope. Find them in the library. Okay, and as I say, should sign that, shouldn't I? Okay. And we'll post that. Let's just hit mail now for that.
post forum. So that'll go straight out. Be post immediately. Okay, one last one now. Let's go back to the course uh, here and we have a group discussion area. Okay, now one thing about group discussion area is you need, if you're the teacher on this and you want to communicate, you need to select the group. You can send it out to everybody in the class, but generally this is used to communicating with groups. So we could go to group A. Now if it was a student in the class, uh, the groups that would come down in this list would only be groups that they're a member of and they couldn't send to all participants. So they can only send to one group at a time. So let's just send this to group A. And we'll say group A Okay, so we'll send this and say to everyone, I should put a capital A on that. That sounds like a tutorial is cancelled. Okay. So I won't be able to attend the group tutorial for group A on Thursday and let's see we better get that out of them straight away okay that's just going to group A we could change it at this stage but it's group A okay let's just mail it now and post to forum and that will be sent out immediately okay and that's that what I want to do now is to uh, check what a message would look like if you received it in your email. So I'm just going to pause this briefly, check my email and come back to you and show that. So I'll see you in a second. Okay, welcome back. Uh, the, um, the email has arrived in my email uh, and it's a response to one of the questions. Uh, you'll see it here and this is what it looks like in my email which happens to be a Gmail, you'll notice that this area here is, this is the sort of typical area of a Moodle, an email that comes from Moodle, and it's probably very useful to be able to understand some of the things that are in this as standard. For starters, I want to show you these links that are across here, okay, and these links down here. Okay, now this is the short name for the Moodle module subject or course that it came from. That one was a demonstration course and its short name is demonstration. So that tells me when I see this, oh, that comes from a particular course. Uh, now we're in your email now uh, and sometimes you can be in your email and you don't have the course open. So you can actually use these links to open a course. So if I click here, say, that pops up in a new window and it brings me to the course, which can be very handy. You can go straight from your email. Now, if you weren't logged into Moodle, you would have to log in because we were logged in, that brought us straight there. So let's get rid of that and go back to the email. This means that it's one of the many forums that are in that Moodle module, your course. And this is the particular forum, any questions about this subject. Remember I showed you three forums, okay? One of them was for students posting questions. That's the name of the forum. If I clicked on that, It'll open up the Moodle module, but it will go straight to that forum, which can be very handy. Okay. Okay, and now this one here is the title of the discussion thread. Now, a discussion thread is where somebody poses a question or comment in a discussion forum and people reply to that. So there's a, there may be several submissions under that. So let's click on that and see where that brings us. Okay. Okay, that brings us into Moodle module, into the forum, and then into the discussion thread. So there was the first one, and here were some responses down here. Response from Joan Morrison, a response from Brian Mulligan, and another response from Brian Mulligan, the identical one, just to make sure it worked. So that's a very handy one because you can go in there. Let me just show you that again. Let's go back to where we were. You're in your email, you're looking at your email. You say, I want to respond to that so I can go. Well, you might say, nope, not in the crafter's basket. What was the original question again? 
and if you go to the question or to go to the actual posting here heading you can go straight to it but you might say to yourself by the way another way to do that is show parent let's try that one and that shows it plus the responses so that has the same effect okay okay but what you want to want to do is you might want to reply and remember one of the purposes of forums in Moodle is so that you can reply to everybody if a question comes in from a student you can reply and the whole class can see it so you really should be replying inside Moodle okay don't be contacting them by email so we would click on reply there and that opens there it's got re the original heading and you can type a reply there okay so Okay, a mistake there. Okay, and then we can post that response. We mail it now if we don't think we've made a mistake, but as I say, it's probably advisable not to just post it to the forum and it'll go out in a half an hour. Okay, and that's response made. And how did we do that again? Let's just go back to the email. What we did is we clicked on reply and rather than reply in our email it brought us into Moodle sometimes we have to log on when we bring brings us into Moodle but we're already logged in so it brought us into Moodle found that discussion question and opened up a box for you to reply in so it's very convenient okay and uh, was there oh yes one last thing here now this is in our email here. This is an email package. It's, it's Gmail. So in your email package, you generally have a function in your email package for replying. So if you wanted to reply just to the individual person, okay, you could just use your own reply link. This is the reply link in Gmail. So I could use that, click on that, and it would reply. Now, I happen to have this set, set so it doesn't reply. I have the email address set to no reply. But normally, you would be able to reply to a student directly. So you could use your own email package to reply privately to the student if you didn't want to reply to the whole class. Okay, and that's it. That's all I've got to say on communicating inside Moodle.